December. Where are the snakeheads? December, if, if it was a December like last year, that was unseasonably warm, they were still in the decaying milfoil pods okay. uh, foraging. But in most Decembers, they're burying themselves in the mud, hibernating. It's true hibernation. That's what I and for, for probably four or five years, it was, it was probably about 2010 until I recognized and realized fully that it, they do have a true full hibernation, like a black bear. Um, I found, I, I found a, a translation of a Chinese paper that was, it was uh, only the abstract was translated. But in that abstract, they, they had specifically the phrase of a hibernation period. And, and essentially, that, that the huge swim bladder that that fish has allows it to, to it buries itself in the mud. Korea, they're called mudfish. And they, once the water temperature stays below 50 degrees Fahrenheit for an extended period of time, they, their metabolism gets very low, they bury themselves in the mud, and they just shut down. And they ride out two or three months when, that, when the very cold weather, cold water, and they're, they're just, they're, they're essentially hibernated, done. It's like they're, you said, they're essentially black bear. Yeah. That's a great way to they're say just, that. They're just, they're, they're done. And that's when they, they, they start their spawn, because I know that I've heard that these things can spawn six seven times a year I mean, yeah, is, and that's that, that that's way high i mean okay. we've heard up to five okay. the literature some of the asian literature states that but it's the references are very vague okay. and what we've been able to discern and that's probably still the biggest key point and the biggest need of additional research is to hold some of these fish in captivity where you've got a known female marked and can can follow that one female over the course of a spawning season april to september basically is that window and our best guess right now is they're spawning twice a year. That's our Only best twice. guess. Only twice. Wow. And, and the thing is, the thing you have to wonder about, and the thing that we're trying to figure out is, is it, is it a protracted spawning season? In other words, is, is, is are some of the females from the population spawning early and some spawning later, or are they all spawning? early and all spawning later. So protracted, that uh, we could equate that to kind of largemouth bass, how sometimes some will spawn, the spawn can last two months. Well, yeah. Some will, some will spawn in March, some will spawn right. in late May. But, but you know? usually with bass, they say it's a straggler. It's, it's a few fish that are going to spawn early. Okay. And, and, and like you just said, it's like two months. That, that's, that's a, for bass, that's a big window. Yeah. We're talking about six months. Wow. So it's, it's a, that, that, and that, and that makes a big deal because again, the spawning, Periosity is linked to recruitment. And, and for us as biologists trying to understand what's happening in the Potomac River, recruit, what drives recruitment is the biggest unanswered question. Recruitment means the number of fish that are spawned in a given year that survive to the following year to reach adulthood. Okay. And, and, and for most fish in a riverine situation, it's all based on flow. How much water is in that river during a certain time of the year? With snakeheads, it's probably different because it's, they, they are a fish that's so strongly associated with grass, mm -hmm. submerged aquatic vegetation, specifically hydrilla. Yeah. Snakeheads, as you know, That's as a you fish, <laughs> snakeheads love hydrilla. Yeah. Yeah. And when hydrilla's up, you're not going to find them anywhere else. Yeah. And, and so probably the, the success of a snakehead spawn and f subsequent recruitment is related to hydrilla. How and, much, when, when, when it comes when up? It, right. Like this year, for example, this has been a terrible year for SAV growth because it's been very cold and very warm.